Hey, I am back with another big unboxing or gun boxing. So this is another auction buy. So this is going to be a lot of future projects as well. If they actually remember to pack everything, uh, this will be a very a couple of very big projects, I believe. Uh, there's a lot of parts in here. Oh. Angle's not exactly great, but I know me and I'm not going to be able to wait until I get the first shop cleaned up before I do a video. Too mm. impatient. I want to see what uh, it was just boxes of parts. And you couldn't really see in the picture what that would be. everything out so I can deal with the packing peanuts at a later date. There is a lot of stuff in here. Oh, didn't even see that in the, in the pictures. I've got some Remington Model 12 parts there. Got two other Remington Model 12s. One's in good working order. The other one was missing a few pieces. Came with a bag of parts that I finally got from the bastards. Must say, McSherry Auction House, that's not where I got these, but McSherry Auction House, a bunch of liars. They put false descriptions up and then do nothing about it. some of these in the description. All right, so. Oh. I guess we don't lose it. So let's see what I got here first. Tube, I assume. Yep. Yes, it is. Well, if I ever do a blooper reel, we can put that one on there. Okay, not sure what this is for. There's no mark. I think I got some more interesting shit coming out. I'll have to look and see what I paid for. This is three separate lots here. All right, so we got. Part of a pump action for a shotgun, I, I believe. A lot of shotgun parts in here, so should have enough to build a few. Let's see. 
I think I've got enough parts to build about five or six shotguns from uh, guns in general from this lot. From these three lots. So what the hell is this? So we got a partial. Okay, Remington model 81. The wood's all split to shit. So, should be able to do something with you know, what's left of that. So take a lot of, lot of rust removal on that. But it does have some parts in it. What else? What else do we got here? They did not put any information on these lots as far as what kind of guns they were. So we got one Remington and I've got a Cooey Model 84 made by Winchester Canada. Look at that. Got the mainspring in there. Oh, action works. Sort of. And I can't even can't even open this right now. So well, I am uh, I would like to check that it is not freaking loaded, but well, there is no firing pin in there at least. And I'll have to carefully take that apart. I don't like it when I can't open a gun. I don't think any of us like it when you can't open a gun. And this, I think this is another Remington here. There we go. This is a Model 12. Another Remington Model 12. My parts one, some idiot welded a mag tube holder on and did a terrible job of it. You know, I always tell people, you know, try it, you know. Get a cheap project done and give it a try. But you know what? If you completely suck at everything, learn, learn not to. Just stay away from it. Oh, jeez. That is the most butchered repair I've ever seen. It's got those wafer things pounded into there like an asshole. Sorry, it's uh, EJ something and co. That's all I can see off of there. Well, this is an external hammer one, so it is probably, I'm not going to say for sure, but it is probably uh, not for modern ammunition. It's hard to know for sure on these things, because they have maybe newer ones of the external hammer for the nostalgic people, but... Air on the side of caution, that looks at least 100 years old so I would not use that with anything but black powder ammunition look at this more model 12 parts I love the Remington model 12s and the similar 1890 Winchesters but those pump action gallery guns they're beautiful they're fun they're reliable more parts parts now let's 
funny. You'll have two guns that are in the same series and they will not fit together. I've got that with my good ones. Take some fitting. There was the 1890 Winchesters required a lot of hand fitting to make them work. And that was original from factory. So they weren't quite as mass produced as they are nowadays. They made lots of them, but the hand fitting to finish it off was, uh, was definitely necessary. All right, now this is I got a serial number. I got an engraving of a dog and some ducks here. And then just some ducks on that side. Part of me wants to keep that by the front door. Anyone starts banging at three in the morning, that's enough to keep them. Keep them from trying to keep them. But there's no information on that one. Let's I'll put some pictures up afterwards. But if anyone recognizes that, and there is a what is that? An anvil with a P there. Oh. Yeah, if anybody recognizes any of these, I would love it if you left a comment. I'm good on the mechanical side. I'm good on the machining side. Identifying what is what, well, that's a different story. Got a mainspring kicking around in there. And again, no idea what this is from. And that's without I could actually Probably use on something pretty quick here. Well, sometimes you'll buy parts, well, at least for me, sometimes I'll buy parts and I'll sit around for a long time before I find a use for them. Other times you can get a few assembled all at once. There's a lot of the parts. Ah, more Remington Model 12s, jeez. These are very late serial numbers, so. So far, with the exception of the Remington's, I don't know how much will fit together. Crescent Firearms Company, Norwich, Connecticut, New Victor. So I think that's just one somebody has polished up and never got around to finishing. I've done a couple of these single barrel now. Check out my video on them. It's, uh, here's a right grip from something. And just another assortment of parts here. And somebody was asking five bucks for that sometime. And again, no identifying marks on this stuff. Yeah, a lot of these manufacturers only seem to mark the barrel, from my experience at least. Remington 1100, so we got at least one part. That's as uh, accurate as whoever labeled it, so let's hope. I do like buying these parts, guys, kind of though. I don't think I even spent more than maybe 200 bucks on all this stuff. Hopkins and Allen. So, another single shot. Um, Everything looks to be complete on this firing pin. Everything is there. So that is a newer one, I would say. I mean, not <laughs> not very new, but newer than that uh, external hammer one. And I've got some barrels. I've uh... ooh, this is out of something definitely more modern. 
This is all aluminum. Again, no bloody idea. If this looks familiar to anybody, again, some comments would be great. Oh, never seems to get smaller. Oh. And again, no marks, no clue. Anybody? 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 Got serial numbers, which as usual are no help to me. Walther. That's a little unexpected. So I got a Walther part. One Remington shotgun, one Winchester shotgun. Oh, keep digging, keep digging. Oh, look at this. This is a browning. There's a fair amount complete. Oh, this might be worth a couple of bucks. I really don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah, you can see there, lots of browning. Well, apparently today I'm pouring gun and some rich and parts. Choke tubes. This is... J. Stevens Arms and Tool Company. Not sure why these are all bundled together. They obviously don't go together. This, I'd have to take the calipers to it, but this looks like it might fit my Sabati, which I actually, it's miss, mine is f missing a firing pin. So that would actually give me a good idea of what the firing pin looks like. One of these days I can actually get to my lathe and get that figured out. Holy crap people, this is uh... Well, there's another firing pin. So I've got an arm sand and a sabati that are missing a firing pin. And I think on the arm sand I've got a cracked piece on the slide, which I could weld up. So that'll be a good one to check later. Wow. Far more parts than you can see in the picture. Now, last one. Bear with me, people. We got a lot of good videos coming after this. A lot of this. Oh, and this is my mag tubes. For my Remington Model 12s. I thought there were more plungers in with this, but I could be wrong. Well, I'm gonna have to go through the pictures on the uh, ads, but holy crap, this is uh, this is excessive. This is absolutely excessive. But that's sort of what I do. I get into projects and then I overdo it greatly. Well, I'm gonna mess around with these another day. I just gotta pack them all up and bring them inside the house now. 
Well, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to take some close-up pictures. And ask all of you uh, brilliant amateur gunsmiths out there who clearly you guys know a lot more than I do when it comes to uh, makes and models of some of this stuff. Uh, a couple of you guys have been really helpful. I appreciate it like you wouldn't believe. But even if you throw me a suggestion, there's been times where it's just pointed me in the right direction. And that's a huge help. But I should be able to make at least one Remington out of, the, out of all these, one of the Model 12s. And I think I'll be able to make at least two out of the parts gun I have and these parts. And just one of those guns assembled and functioning will probably probably pay for this into all three of these lots. So I'm going to start messing and bring up some of the barrels I've got, start messing around here. But uh, yeah, lots of projects coming up. So if any of these are of any interest that you want to see done, leave a message, leave a comment. And I don't, I have no problem doing a project that you want to see over something I want to do. Half the reason I keep motivated on this shit is because you guys, uh, I mean, some of them don't get that many views. I'm not some big YouTuber or anything. Uh, I don't make money off of the channel, but, and if I did, I think it'd be about 45 cents a month. But I have a good time with it. And if you guys have a good time watching it, that's what I'm here for. But let me know what you want to see. I've got a pile of... I've got other piles of parts from other auctions. I've got some single barrel shotgun parts, which I can use on these, so four stock. So we'll see what, what will work and what won't. All the stuff I got in here. Something's got to fit probably with a little modification. And I got drawers full of other parts here. Also, if you need some parts. As long as it's not something I expect to use right away, shoot me a message. You'll pay for shipping. I'll probably ship you a part if you need it. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to keep poking around in this pile of crap for the next bit, but I don't think any of you are too, uh, too excited to see me sit and stare and wonder it. There we go, that's that firing pin. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'd say guys and girls, but let's face it, we all know that it's, uh, it's probably just guys watching this stuff. Yeah, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe. I'd like to hit a thousand subscribers, and you know what? If you've listened this far, I might as well tell you. I want to start doing some giveaways. It's probably not going to be with guns just because of the legality of that, but I could uh, do some of the guitars. I could do parts. I could do... I've got these cool board-mounted things that... Uh, that somebody sent me that I really like them I used to or still am sort of into the old dad since and that's the charger one but they look great in the garage Just nice old ads you know what if somebody wants these send a message and if I get up to a thousand subscribers I'm gonna start giving stuff away I'll give one of these away if I hit a thousand subs leave a comment give me the picture or something like that in the comments and I will keep track, and once I hit a thousand subs, I'll pick a name and start giving it away. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, any comments are appreciated.